I believe old money is the defining trend of 2023. In fact, I am certain that in five years or so, we will have a bunch of memes and videos mocking this trend just like our current ridicule of the 2000s low waist obsession or blue eyeshadow. However, the fact that every single trend is doomed to be ridiculed by the next generation of fashionistas does not change one thing. Old money embraces classics and classics never fade away, even if they are not at the forefront of modern fashion trends. Thus, I value this aesthetic beyond its trend status and feel like it needs to be approached with more respect than any other basic TikTok sensation. That being said, I feel like this aesthetic is understood very wrong by many of us, creating an image as if the brand or the trendiness of an item makes an outfit the true old money. And I completely oppose that idea. I believe it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it that matters when it comes to old money. And I'm an advent supporter of this argument. I can already imagine some of you guys struggling to understand this view, so let's dive in. By it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it, I'm referring to the idea that your personal style and confidence matter more than the specific clothing you put on. I believe the way you carry yourself, your attitude, and your unique way of styling an outfit can have a significant impact on how you are perceived and how fashionable you appear, especially when it comes to a classy trend such as old money. That is to say, you don't need to have either the old money or the new money to be regarded as classy and chic with a timeless appeal. All you need is a good sense of style, confidence, and an understanding that fashion is not equal to a brand or specific clothing. Let's explain all these problems one by one. First of all, style is about expressing your unique personality and taste through clothing. For example, consider two people wearing a simple white t-shirt and jeans. One person might wear it with sneakers and a baseball cap, showcasing a casual and sporty style. The other might add a statement necklace, high heels, and a clutch bag, creating a more chic and sophisticated look. Similarly, consider a classic black dress. How you choose to style it makes a difference. Adding a wide belt and chunky boots can give it a more edgy and rebellious look, while pairing it with pearls and pumps creates a timeless and elegant ensemble. Despite starting with the same basic clothing, their personal styles shine through, making them appear distinct and fashionable. And as you can imagine, having a white shirt and jeans is as basic as things get. Accessorizing is the part that your style shines through. If you want to embrace the old money style, or let's say you want to have a more timeless style, all you have to do is add the accessories that will achieve the desired look. Your t-shirt might be from H&M, but this does not deprive you of achieving a timeless outfit. You don't need to invest in the so-called old money or quiet luxury brands to appear chic. All you need is to make sure that your personal style parallels this timeless aesthetic and that you have the right accessories to achieve it. When it comes to confidence, the first thing you have to realize is that it can completely transform any outfit. Imagine someone wearing a bold and unconventional ensemble, like a bright red suit with unique accessories. If they carry themselves with confidence, they'll likely turn heads and be admired for their fashion forward choices. Conversely, someone wearing a designer outfit might not make a strong impression if they lack confidence. I mean, you might invest in the row ready to wear, but if you don't have the confidence to carry it, believe me, no one would think that you're embracing the old money style. Furthermore, never forget the fact that fashion is an art form and clothing is the medium. Fashion encompasses the entire experience of selecting, styling, and wearing clothes. It's about creating a visual story with your outfit. Think of a well-dressed individual who combines vintage and contemporary pieces to make a statement about sustainability and individuality. They are using fashion as a means of self-expression, going beyond the mere act of wearing clothes. So, when you go and invest in a Ralph Lauren suit blindly, simply to achieve an old money look, you don't exactly turn into a fashion expert who knows how to create his or her own aesthetic. You just follow the footsteps of some TikTok influencer who tell you what to buy to achieve a certain look. Try to mix and match and create your own old money look with the pieces already existing in your wardrobe. Believe me, you already have everything you need in your wardrobe to achieve the old money look. You are just hesitant to style your already familiar outfits in different ways. It's time to do the unthinkable and find your own old money look. Trust me, you can thank me later for it. How do you define the old money aesthetic? Do you think the trend is fed by the brand mania that is gripping TikTok lately? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.